You see, there are two kinds of law. This is a subject I, I love. I've been talking, talking about this for years. There are two kinds of law on the earth that rule the whole world. But most people don't know that. All over the world, all governments are ruled by what is called civil law. Civil law goes back to a Latin word, civili, which goes back to the word illi. Oh God, I mean, you go on for hours on this stuff. Civil law, which is called in all countries, the law of the land. So you'll say, well, you can't do that because that's against the law of the land. The law of the land is civil law, Roman civil law, the law of the land. But there is a second law which also operates all over the earth identical. It's called UCC, Uniform Commercial Code. That is the law of God in the world of business. I don't care if you're in Japan, in Africa, in China, in, in Istanbul, Turkey. If you have a company, if you have a corporation, if you are doing business where you buy and sell and make money, you are operating on this earth under something called UCC, Uniform Commercial Code. Because if all countries worked on a different commercial code, then nobody could do business with anybody. You couldn't trust Japan to pay you. you Japan couldn't trust America to pay them for the cars. Because everybody has their own laws. Uh-uh. Under the Caesars of Rome, they established under Caesar that all nations in the empire that do business, everybody plays on a, on a level field. If you do business in Africa with China, you pay them. And if Africa does uh, uh, business with American companies, you pay them. You pay whatever it is you're doing business, you don't mess around. The most severe law in this world is called UCC, Uniform Commercial Code. It's the Bible of business on the earth. Uniform Commercial Code. Uniform Commercial Code is based directly on Vatican Canon Law on the Roman canon law. Consequently, when a ship pulls into port, it pulls in and stops in its call in its berth. The ship is now in its berth. Because it is on the law of the high seas or commercial maritime, UCC commercial law rules the seas. So when the ship pulls into its berth, the first thing the captain must do is to present a certificate of manifest to the port authorities, which means that the port authorities need to know how much is on this ship that you're bringing into our country and our economy. How many TVs, how many cars, uh, whatever you're bringing, how much are you bringing into our economy? So you have to have a certificate of manifest of what is the value of your ship here, what are you doing? Consequently, when you are born, you come out of your mother's water. Therefore, you must have a birth certificate, a certificate of manifest, because you are a corporation-owned item. You are a human resource. This goes back to the German Nazi concept that every human coming out of their mother's water must be birthed. And therefore, you have to have a certificate, a manifest, to see how much this individual is going to make for us in our new world order. I'm telling you that until you understand the laws, the symbols, the emblems, what these words mean, you're never going to suspect how far gone we really are. Did you know, for instance, that your birth certificate is a security on the stock exchange in the New York stock market. Did you know that? Because if you order your birth certificate, get a new one, order your birth certificate, it only costs you, sometimes it's free, it only, only costs you a few dollars, order your birth certificate. On your birth certificate, all birth certificates in this country, on the bottom, it will tell you, this is printed on security papers. Do not accept, if not on full color security paper, then on the right hand corner you will always have a series of numbers, red numbers, printed on the, on the birth certificate. 
those numbers are a security stock exchange number on the world stock exchange. You go to any good stock or office and ask them, check these numbers in your computer and see how much this stock is worth, the certificate. And they will check it on the New York Stock Exchange and find you, your birth certificate, is a stock on the stock exchange in America. Why? Because you are worth money to the international bank that bought you in 1930. We need to wake up. This is serious stuff.